hello guys welcome to my new photoshop fx tutorial in this tutorial i will show you how i created this frosted look in photoshop and if you are new into my channel hit the subscribe button and press all notifications for more interesting videos so guys let's start our today's video and we're gonna create a frost effect in photoshop so i have already selected out the hand so you can use the paint tool to select it out so then we'll duplicate the hands layer then we will go to image adjustments desaturate okay fine now we'll go to filter filter gallery from there we'll select the artistic plastic wrap so you have to keep the settings of highlight strength around like 20 and degree 50 and smoothness you can 7 or 6 I think 7 is better now press ok so it's not looking nice now we have to make it look nice how control I to invert it now cool and we'll set the blending mode to screen now it's looking nice now we have to change it to give a frosted look for that we will use go to the filter filter gallery and we'll go to the distort class right so in the texture you can find a lot of options are there because we are using frosted that's why you're using the frosted one okay nice we'll, we will use the distortion around like 5 and smoothness around like 3 and for the scaling we'll go for around like 79 cool now press ok and now we will add a hue saturation layer for to give the you know like a blue tint in our frosted hand so set from new adjustment layer select the hue saturation right click on it create clipping mask and set it to colorize and we'll colorize like value 231 and the saturation of around like 38 so it's looking really good now and now we will add a frosted texture to this hand to give something like frosted look so we'll just drag it down in here and set the blend mode to screen and it's really blown out in here so we'll blend it out so go to the blending options and mix it down right here and from this underlying layer right here so you have to play around with your settings to give it a perfect look now press ok and still it's not looking good so we'll create a, another adjustment layer that is levels now let us adjust the levels So we don't need the highlights, we need the mid-tones to be adjusted. You can see right in here. Cool. Now we'll go to the blending options again and we'll use a satin to it and we'll set the blend mode to soft light and set the opacity to 30%. Now let's go to the inner glow and set it to color dodge right and we'll set the color to now press ok and we'll increase the size of it and we'll reduce the opacity fine now press ok now select all those layers and ctrl g to group it create a mask on it 
select the brush tool and just paint on those areas nice and now what we will do we'll duplicate the hand layer once again and we'll go to the just turn it off and we'll go to image adjustments desaturate it filter filter gallery and we'll use the same plastic wrap effect with the same settings and press ok nice and control i to invert it and set it to screen and we turn on this layer now we will adjust the levels now it will give you extra depth in our scene right now we'll just drag it down in the group and next we will add a color tint in our scene right so we'll just duplicate the hue saturation layer and we'll drag it up here so cool now we'll turn on the fx on and we'll adjust it create a mask on the group and we'll nice now turn on the background create a mask on it and we'll remove it the one we don't want Select the foreground color and get the passage a little bit down and we we'll paint we will back this one so it looks absolutely good paint it back and there is something wrong in our scene so we have to fix it up now what's wrong you can see something like drop shadow is coming out here that is the back side of his hands and we'll just remove it and we'll paint a little bit of hairs select the brush tool set it to airbrush on and the passage a little bit downer and we'll paint a little bit of hairs And increase the opacity and play with it right now create a new layer and select the clone stamp tool and we'll remove the drop shadow one is the back layers just remove it where it's coming side and a bit of this side and a little bit of this side and 
going to remove these also. And from this side also. Now it's looking absolutely awesome. And to rename it as hairs. Now create a new layer. Press Ctrl, Shift, Alt, and E to merge all the layers. So here is our final output. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you like the video, please do put a like, comment, and subscribe for my upcoming videos. Thank you.